let's fry some ice cream. Oop. Scoop some ice cream. Wrap with plastic food wrap. Keep this one in the freezer when you make the next one. Hee <laughs> hee, this is a chicken drumstick. Keep them in the freezer for 10 minutes. Then coat each of them with panko or breadcrumbs. Freeze them overnight until they are as hard as your math homework. Dip each of them in beaten eggs. Coat with panko or breadcrumbs again. Meanwhile, heat up cooking oil to 355 degrees. Deep fry each ice cream ball for only 10 seconds. The cooking oil has to be hot enough so that the surface of the ice cream can be fried into golden crispy and the inside the ice cream part is still cold and solid. This recipe could be a lifesaver if your husband or kids don't like ice cream. Just tell them we're having fried chicken drumsticks as a dessert tonight. Can you deep fry ice cream corn? No, I can't. But I can! Fill the ice cream cone with gummy bears and marshmallows so you don't feel sad when you almost finish the ice cream What do you want? Coat with panko or cereal crust Keep them in the freezer overnight Good night, baby Wake up, baby Now they're frozen like rocks It's time to take an egg shower Coat with one more layer of panko Freeze them again so they don't melt when we fry them later. Wake up, baby! Now let's deep fry it! Make sure you put enough oil and it's hot enough. Deep fry for only 10 seconds. Here we have deep fried ice cream. Mmm, look at that. Hot and cold. If your families don't like ice cream, just deep fry them. Oh, I mean the ice cream. Mm. Don't deep fry your families. We create viral street food at home. Korean marshmallow ice cream. Cut open a milk box. Brush the inner side with cooking oil. Microwave half bag of marshmallows for about one minute. Give them a quick stir to deflate them. Quickly transfer to the milk box. Insert an ice cream bar of your choice. Keep it in the freezer for at least 4 hours. Peel off the milk box. Toast the marshmallow with a torch. It's golden, warm, and crispy outside. Creamy and cold inside. Saved you a ticket. Give it a try. We're going to put an ice cream on it. What? Ice cream on my pasta? Yeah. <laughs> Insert it into the ice cream. What? Chocolate syrup. Sweet. Please. Oh, that's a lot. That's too much now. Not enough yet. Okay. What? Sprinkles. Mm. Oh, colorful. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. I'm going to lift it up. And it's going to ooze around. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so beautiful. Half is enough. You want some? Ready? Yes. To one, one, two, two three. three. I'm going to lift it up. <laughs> it's going to ooze Ooh. around. Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Ooh. 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 It looks, Ooh. it actually looks pretty. Now you're going to eat it. Me? <laughs> eat it, eat it, Mr. Lee, eat it. Mmm, oh, it's a sweet pasta. Marshmallow. No more boring spaghetti. Mm. Let's elf it up and spread the holiday cheer. You are in jail for making the world's most disgusting food. Let me out! What are you doing with my natto and ice cream? Making natto with chilling. That looks sus. No, it's like boba in McFlurry. Look at that! <laughs> what does that mean? Mister, he's on a meeting, so let's be quiet. Fruit roll-ups. Old-fashioned butter become ice cream. Put one scoop in the middle. Roll it up like this. The fruit roll-up will turn hard and crunchy within three seconds. Mmm. This could be the most delicious snack you can make within one dollar. It's a microphone, huh? <laughs> mm, sounds good. Let's make some fruit wraps with real fruits. I used the frozen strawberries only because they are cheaper. Blend into puree. Add some sugar based on your health condition. 
You can also make mango, pineapple, or kiwi wraps. Keep stirring until they are thickened into an applesauce-like texture. Transfer to a large baking sheet. Spread into an even layer. Bake at 170 degrees for about 4 hours until they are not sticky anymore. Peel off the parchment paper. Enjoy your giant fruit roll-ups. Now let's wrap some ice cream. Let's see if it turns crunchy or not. Let's make some matcha ice cream mochi with rice. Mix sweet rice, butter, and sugar. Pound the rice for 2,000 times. I need some help. Thank you. Sprinkle some cooked cornstarch. Knead the dough until you get too hungry. Cut into 8 portions. Roll into a skin. It's not as smooth as glutinous rice flour mochi, but it's much easier to make. And this skin has a very special chewy texture. Mr. He bought me my favorite matcha ice cream. How about... My husband's favorite ice cream was sold out. But that's okay. I bought all the ingredients. So, let's make matcha ice cream today. First, whip heavy whipping cream until soft peaks form. Whisk together sweetened condensed milk and matcha powder. Fold the matcha mixture into the whipped cream. Then melt some marshmallows in microwave. Give them a quick stir. Then use a hand mixer to beat all the ingredients together. The marshmallow is going to make the ice cream so creamy. Transfer to a metal container, keep it in the freezer overnight. After years of marriage, I just know my husband loves ice cream cone more than ice cream. So I spent a week and tried out this always crunchy ice cream cone recipe. So he can have unlimited matcha ice cream at home with warm and crunchy ice cream cone at any time of the day. Mm, you want a peach ice cream? Make it by yourself. First, whip the heavy whipping cream. Excuse me. Whip the cream until I say stop. Okay, stop. Now cut two peaches. Blend into juice. Oh. Oh. Blend with condensed sweetened milk. Then add the puree to whip the cream. Okay. Mix everything together. Now scoop the mixture into this silicone mold. Then insert popsicle sticks. Wait. Keep them in the freezer overnight. You sit here and wait. Break a bar of white chocolate. Add a spoon of coconut oil. Melt over a double boiler. Okay, what's next? Now unmold the peach ice cream. Coat it with white chocolate. Dust with strawberry powder. I made a peach using peaches. You know what? I have a cute food museum in my belly. Let's make some mochi ice cream. Just don't mind it. Let me show you the best way to have mochi rice cake. Press and slide. You'll get a crispy rice chip. No, 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 no. The best way to enjoy mochi rice cake is mixing it with strawberries and ice cream. Stir them together. Cook until they turn soft. What? Strawberry rice cake? With ice cream. Ice cream? Are you crazy? Can you close the door when you leave? Sorry, but I'm allergic to closing doors. Now shut up right until you get a dough when the dough is cooled. Coat it with cornstarch and roll it flat. Cut it into six pieces. Stretch it into a thin wrapper. Wrap our prepared ice cream filling inside. Super easy three ingredient mochi ice cream. Yours is more delicious, but mine is easier, so I won't. <laughs> Let's make two ingredient Greek yogurt. So you will never need to buy it again. First, get four tablespoons of Greek yogurt. Bring one and a half liter of milk to a simmer. Let it cool down in an ice water bath. When it's around 42 Celsius, mix some milk with the yogurt we saved. Then pour it back to the pot. Cover and let it sit at a warm place for 10 hours. If you actually hate yogurt, you can try to substitute one third of the milk with heavy cream. Then add vanilla beans and sugar to the mixture. They are going to make your yogurt creamier and more flavorful. Use the proof mold of your oven or yogurt mold of your instant pot. Or you can wrap the pot with a blanket and leave it under room temperature during summer. Lastly, strain the yogurt with two layers of cheesecloth or a yogurt strainer. Let it sit in the fridge overnight to let the whey drip out. Save the yogurt to make more. Shh, 
I just found the best way to eat a pomegranate. You cut off the top, cut along the white piece. You already know this method, right? Then put it upside down and knock the fruits out. From this moment, your life will be changed. You just need to put the pomegranate in the freezer overnight. Then you open a can of coconut milk in a smart way. Simply add 3 tablespoons of sweetened coconut milk into frozen pomegranate. If you don't like it, come back to unfollow me. 20 million people watched this ice cream broody video. Let's try and make it at home. We need 2 slices of high quality bread. Cut every slice into 4 pieces. And heavy whipping cream, milk, sugar, and cheese. Stir until it melts. Poke 3 egg yolks. Gradually stir in the hot milk. Pour the egg milk over the bread. Let it soak for about 10 minutes. Bake at 355 degrees for 15 minutes. Sprinkle sugar on the surface. Roast for 2 minutes or until the sugar is caramelized. Serve hot with a scoop of ice cream. It tastes like a vanilla flavor sock stew. In a word, it's a waste of bread. Yesterday, I told Mr. He to buy some green veggies before he came home. Look what he bought. Some ice cream bars. They are green. And a bag of corn kernels. They are veggies. Today is veggie. Melon flavor ice cream popcorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell your mom. What? You can make a boba with Malona. One day, people may build a house with Malona. Soak a rice paper, then roll it up. Cut it into the size of boba. Boil the bobas in the Manola liquid. Dear Mano, dear Malona, will you consider changing your name into Manola? It actually sounds better. I didn't expect this boba to be good, so I didn't make a lot. I was planning to say you can send this boba to your rival, but it's actually good. Now your rival may want to make friends with you. Sorry, you can't have this. I'll make you a cake tonight. 